All right, folks, it's the WC, man. World Championship breaking news. Now, the first thing that I thought when I saw this story, y'all want to know what the first thing I thought when I saw this story? I was like, so the Rain Man is making it rain bullets, basically. That's the first thing I thought when I first saw this story. I was like, the Rain Man making it rain bullets. And then the second thing that I thought was, you know, John Morant, is like a young guy making these mistakes and then you look over at sean kemp and sean kemp is 53 years old now right without context now all this stuff is without context now all right you just hear the headline sean kemp facing up to 10 years probably 10 years in jail um you hear all that stuff so without the complete context of the story you're going to look at this and you're going to be like, there's just no way that he's that he's on that goof troop stuff. Like you you just you wouldn't believe it, right? So after you hear the context of it, you kind of understand why he did what he did, but you still don't understand why he did what he did because it's like it's like I don't know if you've guys seen the movie Lethal Weapon 4, right? With Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. The tagline in that movie was these dudes was too old for the shit that they were doing. You know, fighting, you know, Jet Li and getting their ass whipped the 99 something percent of the movie. They got their ass whipped the majority of the movie. So you look over at Sean Kemp, right? And then you hear the context of the story because I'm going to read the context in the story. I have sources on this, right? Multiple sources, but I'm just going to use one, right? When you hear the context of the story, you're like, bro. This guy is too old for this shit. Like you just literally, you, it just comes to your brain. It was the same thing that I thought about OJ with the whole memorabilia thing. Like he got away with it once, right? He got away with, you know, uh, his brush with the law once. Now he's going to go to jail for some memorabilia. So it looks like Sean Kemp is going to be going to jail for trying to get his stuff back. Similar to OJ, more so the OJ than just the foolishness of a John Morant at this point, right? And I hate to hate to just kind of throw John into this, but these stories are just kind of being done back to back. All right? So let me read a little bit from this article, all right? Listen up. Tacoma Police received a call around 2 p.m. local time about shots being fired by passerby a vehicle in the parking lot at Tacoma, call, T T T Tacoma Mall, if I could speak. This is according to Fox 13, all right? And this is out in Washington. Police said that nobody was shot in the whole ordeal, all right? A source close to NBA star Sean Kemp told the station that he allegedly had stolen properly um, in his car. And his car, I think his car was stolen on Tuesday, all right? And he tracked the, he tracked the car with his iPhone I'm paraphrasing now to Tacoma Hall to Tacoma Mall where the incident basically happened. Um, the source added that he approached the vehicle that had been stolen. The suspect shot at him and he shot back in self defense. That's according to sources. The link will be down in the description. All right. So, so he's basically trying to get his stuff back. This, the, the video was allegedly posted to social media. Y'all know how social media is, the dangerousness of social media and everything like that. I could read off of Sean Kemp's accolades, you know, uh, all the stuff that's listed here, man. Him being a six-time All-Star, uh, six all a three-time NBA first-teamer, all that stuff. I could list off all his accolades. But the rain, bottom line, the rain man was trying to make a rain bullets on somebody that stole something from him. Direct the iPhone to the mall. Approach the guy. Both of the dudes miss. Nobody got hurt, thankfully. But for this, for this shooting, he could be facing up to damn near ten years for this. And then, like you look at what's going on, what's what's been going on with with John Morant with the flashing of the guns. Like I hate to say it, this NBA culture because NFL players get caught up into this. Baseball players have had their problems as well. Like, this is just not good for the Rain Man. It's just not. 
You know, it's just not good. And the NBA's rep is taking hits right now, man. There's a big major story about something that's completely obvious in the NBA. All right. That needs to be exposed. That needs to come to the light. And I don't want to be the one that breaks it. I really don't want to be that guy, man. But it's something that has to be spoken about eventually. All right. And this is just another issue. This is just another issue on a long list of things about the NBA. All right. That come into question. So let me know how you guys feel about the rain man raining bullets on somebody that stole something from him at a mall. He could be facing up to 10 years for this. I don't know if the gun that he had was registered. I don't I don't know. I mean, like there's certain stuff that the article is not necessarily saying. But he was booked into Pierce County Jail and, you know, he's being held on the uh, charge, you know, drive by charge. So let me know how you guys feel. So WC, man, the music has to cut me off, man. This this story right here made my head hurt and made my back hurt. I shed a tear doing this story. <laughs> like, cause it's like this is the rain man. Like I'd expect this out of the, you know, I'd expect this out of, you know, somebody younger, like a like I hate to throw, keep throwing John here. But I'd I'd expect it from out of him. But the rain man? Woo. That's the WC man, I'm gone. Until next time, peace out.